Hi, this is Jim, the Iowa Tesla guy. Welcome back to the channel. There are a lot of videos out there right now on people driving with Tesla's full self-driving beta, and I don't want to be another one of those videos where you just see me drive. I want to try to add some value and some content. So I went on a drive, and I am putting out two videos. First video, um, which I will link to above, covers for 10.3.1, all of the things with full self-driving that I think are working really well. And this video is gonna cover the things that aren't working so well, the rough edges, let's just say, of full self-driving and where things need to improve. By no means am I wanting this to be a full self-driving bashing of any kind. Full self-driving on the whole is amazing and I can't wait to see what comes, but I do think I need to be honest with you as far as where the rough edges are and what it can and can't do right now. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and let's, uh, let's get started. Herky jerky, speed limit's 45, but we're only going 30. And it does seem to be holding to the right side of the road, but it does seem to be kind of trying to find its space. Now here's a problem with the nav. You would think it would go through this roundabout, but no. It shows it on the map, but I can tell you that the road, as far as the navigation is concerned, isn't there. And it's going to want us coming over and up, but there's actually... a a dead end there, so I'm going to have to break out and disengage and traverse the first roundabout here uh, manually, unfortunately. No disengagement so far, but we will call this next one a disengagement because of... Then turn right onto 14th Street. Call this next one disengagement just because of poor navigation and the computer. Break out. Now turn left onto Fifth Avenue. We're heading out to uh, now another turn roundabout. Left onto 14th Street. We're re engaged. Okay, we're stopped. There's no stoplight there. Let's send that to Tesla. Now we're going to come up to our first roundabout that it should navigate through. We're going to go all the way now through it. Right to stay <coughs> on 6th Avenue. I've never done this before, so we will see what happens. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Tapping the accelerator to go. Didn't want to wait around. There's people behind me, and we are through. the accelerator to go because there's a truck behind me that I'm sure is getting very upset with me sitting around at stop signs. I won't call that a disengagement, but um, now we're heading up into another roundabout. We're going to go straight through. In 500 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. There's no one behind me really, so I'm going to kind of see if this will do this all by itself. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Slowing way down. Coming to an absolute stop. Now it's going slowly. A little jerky. Look at that, it did it. It's doing these random, uh, each of these Cross traffic lanes. Uh, it's doing this break. The break. It's slowing it down after it passes each one of these on the right hand side, and I don't know why. There's a thing here in Iowa often referred to as Iowa Nice. And in my opinion, it implies, or it often gets uh, misconstrued and misused, which is. There's a tendency here in Iowa when we come up to a four-way stop that everyone wants to be nice and usher everybody through. And 
many times, most of the time when that happens, it ends up uh, causing everybody just to go slower. And if everybody just went their turn, it would have been a lot more efficient. But no, we got to wave people on and wave people on. And, no, you go, no, you go, no, you go. And uh, it would be interesting to see if the full self-driving beta has Iowa and ice built into it. I doubt it does right now. And that may cause some confusions. So... All right, so that is my video of my drive highlighting what I would call the rough edges of full self-driving 10.3.1. Again, if you want to see where it does really well, um, follow my other video that I put out on the exact same day today, and it covers all the things that it does really well, and there are a lot of things. Um, but this one covers the rough points, and... Um, Hopefully you have a better understanding of what Tesla is working on right now and what they need to focus on. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Even better, hit that subscribe button. Subscriptions really help drive the channel. So until the next video, we'll catch you later.